When writing Markdown, VS Code can help prevent broken links by automatically updating links to images and files whenever those files are moved or renamed. Now this feature is off by default, but I've turned it on here, and you can see that I currently am linking to a file called cat here, and if I move the file cat under images, so I'll say move, VS Code is now prompting me and saying, would I like to update links for this? I'll say yes, and now the link has automatically been updated to point into the images directory instead. The same if I went and renamed this file over here. So let's go and rename contributing to something else. So I'll just go and say rename and say contrib. And now VS Code is asking, would you like to update the link for this? I'll say yes. And now the link over here to that file has also automatically been updated. Now, as I mentioned, this is off by default, but it's very easy to turn on. To do so, just open up your settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for markdown link update. You want the markdown update links on file move. This setting is off by default, but I've turned it on to prompt here, which means that whenever VS Code detects that a file has changed name or been moved, it is going to ask me if I want to update the link. You could also turn it on to do this automatically. So if I set this to always, and then go back to my markdown file here, let's move cat back to the top level of the directory here. So I'll just go and drag that one around. You can see that it just automatically updated the link without prompting me. It did prompt me when I moved the file, but I did not have to be prompted to actually go and update the link to that file. This setting can be a great time saver when working on documentation in VS Code. So that's how VS Code can automatically update links in Markdown whenever files are moved or renamed.